Peace Corner, one of the most pitiless landscapes in the world, the arid Australian outback. In this corner, one of the most resilient survivors in the world, the red kangaroo. With skills shaped by millions of years of evolution, this time it's brought a knockout punch, a devastating drought. As thousands succumb to dehydration and starvation, one remarkable kangaroo may be on the ropes. Can he make it through hell on earth? Or is this one fight even the red kangaroo can't win? Australia, the oldest continent on the planet. Almost three quarters of it looks like this. At its centre, it gets five inches of rain a year. The mercury can hit 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But the hardest part for those who live here is the climate's unpredictable personality. This is a place where there are no true seasons. Only moods. To make it here, you need to be able to roll with the punches and shift gears in a hurry. The acknowledged master of that art in the Australian outback is the red kangaroo. The largest marsupial in the world. This female is pregnant. Red kangaroo females are almost always pregnant. They've evolved to adapt their reproductive systems to the unpredictable whims of the environment. At any given moment, a female can have three offspring to care for, each at a different stage of development. This is number one, the peanut. After 33 days developing in the womb, the newborn emerges as a blind, hairless, pink creature, roughly the size of a peanut. We call him Rusty. There's virtually no sign of the powerful hind legs we all associate with the kangaroo. He uses his arms to make the gruelling trek up the belly to his mother's nipple, guided solely by instinct and smell. Almost immediately, the female goes into heat again, releasing hormones that stimulate ovulation. Once fertilized, the mother's endocrine system puts the development of this new embryo on hold. That's number two. Its progress won't be kick-started again until the peanut reduces his suckling. Number three is the joey, who's spending some time suckling from our...